I'll show you a face chart before we begin the makeup to give you the basis of this look. Pretend you're drawing a picture of a face onto a blank piece of paper. You'll use a black face paint to rim your entire eye, create a crease, and draw on some eyelashes. Fill your eyebrows in, outline your jaw, sides of your forehead, ears, nostrils, the bridge of your nose, lips, and philtrum, which is the dent between your nose and lips. You'll use a black face paint to draw on your features. When a black face paint dries, it dries with a flat finish, which helps with the whole idea of making you look like a drawing. Before drawing on your features, apply a foundation that is two to three shades lighter than your natural skin tone anywhere skin is exposed. You want your skin to appear flawless, so if your foundation didn't hide everything, use a concealer to conceal those missed areas. If you have oily skin, make sure you set your foundation with a loose powder to help your foundation last longer. Once you've applied your foundation, you're ready to draw on your features. For a complete list of products used, including brushes, look in the description box below. I applied a red face paint to my lip and then blended a white face paint into the center of the lip to give the look dimension. Again, I'm using a face paint because the way it dries flat. I don't want to use a lipstick because most lipsticks don't dry with a flat finish. Most dry with a satin, glossy, creamy finish and that won't help me look like a drawing. For the dots you will be drawing all over your face, use a foundation or concealer that is lighter than the foundation you applied earlier. If you can't find a foundation or concealer light enough, use a face paint, eyeshadow, or eyeliner. I used a baby blue face paint to color in my teardrops, and then I used a darker blue face paint to add shading just on the outer corner of each tear. Apply thick fake eyelashes to add a fun flirty look to your character, and then you're finished. If you really want to go all out, you can outline your hands, neck, fingers, it is all up to you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, and in my last video I asked you guys if you could be one mythical creature, what would you be? And most people agreed with me, mermaids is the way to go, fairies came in second, and these four were just funny to me, like Nia and Cat, can you imagine if that were real? Like you try wishing on a star, but it's being obstructed by a flying Pop-Tart cat pooping out rainbows. So anyways, for this video, let me know who's your favorite comic book character in the comments below, and I will be back in a second. Penny psychotic and barks like it's Armageddon when people ring the doorbell. But anyways, let me know who your favorite comic book character is. Mine's is Rogue, hands down, from X-Men. I love Rogue and Gambit. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Let me know your favorite in the comments below, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Take care. Bye.